Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to download and install MonoGame for OpenRails. And then at the end of this video, we're going to do a compare and contrast between regular OpenRails and MonoGame OpenRails. So we're going to talk about uh, frame rate differences and visual differences. So let's go ahead and check it out. First thing we want to do is open up your favorite web browser and you can Google MonoGame OpenRails, which will take you to this GitHub page or you can click the link in the description below and scroll down to the bottom and you'll see release download click that and then click program.zip save that to wherever you save your uh, downloads in my case the desktop the second thing we need is OpenAL and you can google that as well and this is needed for mono game to function properly we can go to downloads or you can click the link in the description below and then click on Windows installer and download that as well. So that's it. That's everything you need. So the first things first, let's open up this and this is the program uh, Mono Games Open Rails. You can drag it and put it wherever you wish. You can leave it on the desktop. You can put it in your C drive. In my case, I'll just put it in the program files. just to uh, end any confusion. Now open that, scroll down to open rails, right click, send it to the desktop as a sh shortcut, sorry. And then right click on that, rename it, and then we're gonna call it Mono Game. I'm trying to do this one-handed, there we go. And that's it for that. Now we have to install OpenAL, just click that and then double click and then click OK. And that's it. You should be ready to run Mono Game. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Now it says always ask before opening. Go ahead and uncheck this or you'll have to do this every time. Do it for everything that asks you. So let's do a little test. Um, let's grab um, a train and check it out. And go ahead and do uncheck these boxes or it'll just aggravate the crap out of you and we'll check out the frame rate differences between mono game and um, open rails the regular open rails okay let's step outside we'll hit F5 and you can see let's see where the frame rate settles and one thing I've noticed with mono game is that the anti-aliasing works great and you'll see that like on these um, handrails they're not so jaggedy so we're topping out about 680 frames so let's go ahead and close that out and let's open up regular open rails and we're going to open up the same exact um, activity and we're going to see where the frame rate lies on this so here we are this is the regular open rails and you can see 288 frames yeah and you can see on this handrails right here they're a little bit more jaggedy so the anti-aliasing um, is a lot better in mono game version of open rails than it is um, the regular open rails so let's go ahead and exit out of this and let's go ahead and do another train real quick. Let's open up Mono Game. Um, let's pick another train. Let's do a Boeing train. Let's pick somewhere different. Let's start a farm. Uh, one thing I've noticed that doesn't work, at least in the version that I have, is save games. So if you try to save it in mono game, it won't work. So let's go ahead and step outside, check our frame rate, and let's see where it settles down. And you can see that the, the handrails, there's no jagged lines or anything on those. I mean, they're perfect. They're rendered perfectly. So we're at 900 yeah somewhere around 900 frames um, yeah so let's go ahead and exit that because I know the regular open rails and the settings are the exact same 
because mono game I think copies the settings from regular open rails so let's go ahead and see now it says Boeing train I don't even have to change it around or anything so let's load that up so the biggest thing you'll notice especially on a powerful computer is that and you can see the lines on the handrails are more jaggedy and uh, not as crisp but the biggest thing you'll notice is frame rate increase um, and the anti-aliasing anti works great you can see this looks a little more uh, jaggedy but let's check out the frame rate yeah we're at 520 frames so with uh, the mono game version I'm getting basically 400 frames more than with the regular open rails so definitely recommended if you like open rails and I hope that helps uh, one more thing I, I would like to add there are other versions of uh, mono game available especially on the elvistower.com website you can see here here's one from January 9th 2019 it's the it's an unofficial release so it's not an official release like the one that I had you download from the github you can see that uh, this is a more uh, official release and this is more of an experimental I guess you know unofficial release but if you do a simple search you can see through Google and all that and that's why a lot of people have trouble they don't know which one is the right one so if you want something that's pretty safe just go to the link in the description below and go to this github and download the program.zip and that should get you going hope this helped guys if you got any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video